In today's competitive landscape, network providers are struggling with operational challenges. Inventory systems are static and do not reflect the real-time state of the network. Furthermore, they are fragmented across multiple inventory systems. Beyond inventory, operational support systems, OSS, are also fragmented. This leads to data integrity and synchronization issues across multiple inventory systems, causing high service order error rates and slowing service fulfillment processes. In addition, the lack of network inventory visibility creates inefficient utilization of network assets. Some resources are underutilized, while others are at a capacity threshold. These challenges lengthen the time it takes to successfully complete operations processes, reducing customer experience, and as a consequence, negatively impacting revenues. Inefficiencies and inconsistencies make transformation difficult and expensive. There is a growing need to more closely connect inventory to the reality of what is happening on the network, especially as networks evolve from physical infrastructure to virtualized software-defined networks. This is a critical requirement in order for automation to succeed. You can't automate unless you have a correlation between your OSS and the network. Without that, we would see any provisioning automation fail, requiring human intervention to identify and re-engineer the discrepancy, and then rerun the order. Therefore, getting control of your inventory ensures that the data underpinning critical IT and network operations is accurate and comprehensive, allowing you to benefit from intelligently automated processes that enable your journey to the adaptive network. Blue Planet has developed the Inventory and Network Synchronization Solution, INS, whose primary objective is to identify and correct discrepancies between network resources and OSS inventory. INS provides three key capabilities, discovery, federation, and reconciliation. The INS solution was developed to assist service providers uncover and correct discrepancies between network resources and OSS systems to prevent the impact on service order management and operations and engineering processes. Let's take a look at the capabilities in more detail. Starting with Discover, using resource adapters, the Discover module collects data such as resources and circuits at layer 0 through 3 via controllers or directly from network resources and passes it to the Federate module. Using a collection engine, the Federate module collects and normalizes data from OSS systems and discovery. To update the Federated Resource Data Store, the UI on top provides a federated view of the data model. This may also include data from multiple sources, such as business and operation support systems, database management systems, and spreadsheets. And in fact, in the deployment with Fiberlite, data was collected from spreadsheets and a database, and they use Blue Planet Inventory as the OSS. Finally, the Reconcile module identifies and corrects differences between network resources and operation support systems. Discrepancy Manager is vendor agnostic and standardizes physical, logical, and service information against OSS systems to enable unified visualization and discrepancy reporting. And finally, Network Correlator highlights discrepancies between the OSS systems and network resources, which are then presented to users through the UI and can update identified resources or OSS systems. Let's take a look at the areas of value offered when customers deploy INS. In the deployment with Fiberlite, they were having a lot of order fallout because their operation support systems used for ordering and the network were not in sync. If these are not in sync and you try to provision a device that the OSS says is there, but is not in fact there or is not configured the way it's supposed to be, then the order fails. And naturally, by decreasing order fallout will increase order success and thereby increase revenues. Fiberlite had to consolidate their data into a single repository from all the disparate spreadsheets and database files they were using. Then with the consolidated repository, they needed better operational visibility of the discrepancies between the network inventory and the OSS. So how did we help? Using our discovery module, we were able to discover the network resources and load that to the Blue Planet inventory model. Then we followed that with the OSS data, which was also then loaded to the model. The combined OSS and network data is then consolidated into a single repository. Using defined policy rules, we provisioned discrepancy reports. And finally, we were able to reconcile those discrepancies. This can be done manually by the service provider, or we can do it in an automated way using predefined rules that we can provide to push the reconciliation through an API to the system which has the discrepancy. Our solution provided Fiberlight with the synchronization required to ensure when orders are placed, they don't fail. 
By decreasing order fallout, Fiberlite were then able to see both increased revenues and also faster time to revenue. If we look at the business value and benefits, INS allows you to ensure order to service by reducing order fallout. Why? Because you have a valid OSS system used for provisioning and a network. They are both in sync and reflect exactly what is in the network. Orders can therefore be provisioned with less chance of failing. Another benefit is within the trouble to resolve space or service assurance space. Now that we have the synchronized and accurate data in the OSS and the network, it's easier to identify and resolve problems, thereby reducing OPEX and increasing customer satisfaction. And in the plan to build space, now that we have discovered the network and we have the OSS in sync, we can see which assets are stranded or underutilized. Previously, this would have been a manual process working with engineering to get a view of what is in the network.